Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is your boy, Dr. Zen, here. Uh, I just want to do a quick review of this dial I got from Danis Ruler, a.k.a. Steve Negrin. Uh, appreciate it. You finally you setting this out to me. Uh, it looks really good. So let's just dive into it. So uh, that was pretty nice. So you have a window here. It's just a rooftop dial, as you can see. Uh, it has a little some graffiti on it. And then on one side, you another side, you can see the kind of like the piping he did on here. Um, not a whole lot on the other side as well. But this skylight is removable. Uh, I just did a shot with it. Just had this in there. It'll kind of light it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's not a bad piece. Um, I've seen him first do it. I said, you know, let me know if you want to sell it. And I'll take it off your hands and buy it. So I did. Um, it's pretty good. He also did send. Grab him real quick here. Alright. So let me move this out of the way real quick. He also did send these as well, um, like telephone poles. Um, now, one of them did break uh, when he shipped it out, but uh, going to probably do a little bit of modification because I do have something. I do have 3D prints I can print in here instead of having these screws here. I can reprint them and make them look like uh, real, like the real, like, like real telephone poles, basically. The metal bars, that, the little metal round thing, discs that go on top there. So he did... He sent two. That's one of them. And then here's the other one. This is the one that broke. So, and they're really good. They're, uh, you know, it's pretty hard uh, wood casting. The wood here looks like probably like a dowel uh, wood, or I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's pretty good. So I appreciate him uh, sending this out for me. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I just did a shot with this, uh, rooftop dial, which I think is pretty good. Uh, and I just didn't have like any kind of rooftop dial anyway, but you know, let me pull this back some, try to sit on here a little bit. So, yeah, it fits pretty nicely. Um, more legend scale. All right. Uh, so I'll probably be back with a, another review of something I did personally uh, myself with my 3D printer. Uh, I kind of like it. It's basically, actually, I'll just go ahead and do it now. I don't need to come back and do anything else. So, basically, kind of what I did was the claw from the Shuri, get a little bit more light over here, two pack. Uh, I really didn't like the effect that came with it itself. So, I still have to do a little bit more work on it. So, what I basically did was print this out as a, on my 3D printer and use it as like kind of a claw effect. So, it is freestanding. It's light enough for him, for it to be there and be held. If I can get his arm straight, there you go. So, I'm going to probably use it in the next shot that I do here. But, um, I really like it. Uh, I know a couple people had asked for it, so I sent it out to them. Now, um, I only could print out so many of them. And I think I might revisit this later on again to try to make this a little bit more rounded out instead of just being a flat piece. Just make it more kind of like a more of a circular, uh, a little thicker circle, circle, I should say. But other than that, I'm pretty satisfied for it right now so I can get back to it later and uh, do some updates on it. 
But yeah, it, I think it really works for a claw. And this would have been something that e easily Hasbro could have gave us very easily. But yeah. Claw won't stand up right now for some reason. But uh, yeah. It works, like I said, it works pretty well. I like it. Um, but, you know, that's my opinion. If you do, if you design something that you, you know, you want, you're going to like it either way. Um, probably uh, what I'll do is, if I am going to use it, just try fix that a little bit where it's not so much of a, a dangle or dangling off of here. Like more, you more kind of centralized there but it's no problem all right um uh, so i'll be back with another video soon i want to try to start doing more videos on my youtube channel um related to gaming um i'm not gonna i don't do a lot of reviews uh probably next review i I'll probably do is uh, another dial that i'm having custom built um i do i will be picking up this weekend so i probably will do a quick youtube review of that um with a shot of it uh, that I have planned, but I really want to wait until next month to use it because I'm like I'm so excited because I've ordered uh, the Nova Revolve uh, Ubiquitous set, so I'm waiting for, to get that so I can use it with the dial. So I don't know if I might wait till then to review it or I'm like because I'm kind of excited to see to see it on Saturday and pick it up uh, at the New Jersey Comic Con. So if you're out there and you see me, you know, say hi. If you know what I look like. If you don't that's fine hey whatever <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm, like I'm not open to myself I'll just I'll just say hi how you doing you know I'm, I'm um I'll meet and greet anybody so and I'm kind of low-key anyway so but until then thank you for watching uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed to it because I'm gonna try like I said get more involved with this so peace